What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, got a really great one for you. What we're going to be focusing on is, hey, I bought a property, right? And uh, it was a rental property, something that I needed to renovate in order to live there. I'm still in the renovation process. However, there were a lot of things during this process that I didn't necessarily anticipate. And when it comes to expenses, you know, I thought I had a grip. I watched a ton of videos, but there are still so many things that I just didn't nail on the head. And so I wanted to make a video that talks about all of those hidden hidden costs associated with uh, renovation processes with some of that real estate endeavors that I've been focusing on. So that way, uh, looking back, you know, these are some of the things that you can uh, better anticipate and get a full understanding for how much these things cost. Because without going through the process, I really feel like it's very hard to learn. Like at face value, I thought I knew almost everything there was. And very quickly, I realized that I am no expert. I am still no expert, but I thought I could share my experiences with you guys. Okay, so the first sort of hidden cost to the renovation that I've been dealing with has been actually gas money because I thought that we'd be living at the property and we wouldn't have to commute or anything, but it really does add up pretty quickly where I'm going there like seven times a week. I've spent well over a grand on just gas money between going from where I'm currently residing to the house to do work and I'm not in the most cost effective car. Uh, I have an F-150, it's like 15 miles to the gallon, so there's many other cars that would do great. But I kind of need all this to lug everything back and forth to make the dump trips that I need to make, to do everything that I have been doing, so it was sort of a necessity for me. It's another hidden cost that we didn't really uh, think too much about. We knew it would be something that existed, but we didn't know how significant it would be. As you can see over here, this is just one pile of all of the garbage that we've had to deal with. Now, when it comes to the cost of it, we filled three, four dumpsters, 25 yard dumpsters, and each one costs about $650 to have for two weeks. And so all this like individual stuff that you see over here, I don't necessarily have a dumpster for, I need to go to the dump and sometimes it can run me, you know, two, $300 to do that. So you really wouldn't expect that much. And we've been doing it on a budget because normally a lot of people have demo crews come in, they'll do the demo work, they'll take out all the garbage, and all of that is gonna cost you physical manual labor hours. And that's where it starts racking up even higher. Now I've been fortunate enough to have friends and family who are willing to help out and uh, really you know, do a lot of the demo work, gather a lot of the crab, and it only cost me a couple uh, cases of beer and maybe a pizza here and there. So it's been really, really great and I'm super fortunate to have that going for me. So the next cost that I didn't really associate would be just general utilities. So even though we're not living here, you'd think you'd be able to save a little bit of money on utilities, but that's definitely not the right mindset. You gotta think of it like, you're, if you have workers coming in, they need to operate their power tools. They need to charge their batteries, do all these different things. That's gonna hike your electric. The other thing is if you're uh, doing these renovations in the middle of the winter, like I am, heating is huge because what I've realized is we've actually been opening windows to throw garbage out, clean out different areas. And obviously you're letting in a ton of cold air when you're doing it that way. Now, another thing is our heater system actually blew out, right? And at one point it was just pumping out cold air. So it was another emergency sort of plumbing fix that I needed to get done. As you start like creating your budget at the beginning, you think that you have things locked in solid, but then you start opening things up and you have to do things that you didn't even realize that you were gonna need to do. So for example, we started uh, doing some of the framing work and we wanted to have a drop ceiling in our kitchen. It was just gonna be easy to keep it there because it was there before. And uh, the whole area had a drop ceiling, but instead, as we were doing the framing, it wasn't gonna work out right, it wasn't gonna look normal, so we decided to frame over the entire ceiling. So that's sort of what you're seeing in here. And then another project that we got into that we didn't even think about getting into right now was upstairs in that attic space where there's gonna be two more bedrooms. We uh, took on some water damage from a leak that was happening in the roof. And when that happened, we needed to rip out a lot of the plaster that was on the ceiling. And when we started doing so, we realized the insulation wasn't uh, as it should be. And also we were getting some frost damage from the roof. So you can see things just start piling on and a cost that I didn't even anticipate at all, right? Was re-insulating that space, which is about $5,600 is what it's gonna come down to. And uh, you don't realize that as you start doing stuff, Things just pile on. Some things might not work. You decide to add more to the scope and uh, you know it starts adding up very quickly. Mm -hmm. 
So another thing I didn't really put too much thought into was the amount of tools that I would need. So I had to buy pretty much everything you see in here, these tools, plus a lot more. And uh, some people are fortunate enough to have people to borrow them from to use or parents will hand it down to them. In my circumstance, I didn't have anybody who was able to you know, give me any of these tools to use. So I had to spend a couple thousand dollars just buying necessary equipment to be able to do some of the smaller tasks that I could even do myself. And you just, you really, you don't even think about that stuff. That on top of random little things that add up during the whole renovation and uh, Demo, demolition projects, right? So like trash bins, trash bags, so different cleaning supplies, the masks that you need, the, the 3M and 95s, all that different stuff that you have to get. In order to do things the right way properly, you're gonna need to spend a lot of money, unfortunately. Okay, so the last thing that uh, I kinda wanna cover in this video anyways, there's a ton that I've learned from this whole process, but really, uh, when, you're, when you're bringing in heavy machinery, different vehicles that are driving and stuff, I wasn't really anticipating how much damage it would do to the driveway. So if you kind of pan to the driveway here, you're gonna see it's all ripped up in a lot of different areas. And the driveway wasn't in great condition to begin with, but this pretty much forces us to next season really refinish this driveway and make sure that everything is in uh, tip top shape. So again, over here, you can see we, we used to have like this brick sort of driveway and uh, all of those are jagged buckling, uh, definitely not very safe. And uh, so that's something that we're gonna address later on um, but really you know from here there's gonna be so many more costs that we haven't necessarily anticipated and things that you wouldn't really think of for example like just outlets plugs that are going over the the little casings that go over the plugs things like that there are just so many different routes that uh, add up and, and start increasing those costs for you so when you're deciding whether or not you want to renovate when you're deciding on a budget you really need to try and factor every possible thing and uh, just know that when you start doing these renovations, things are gonna happen. You're gonna open up walls, you're gonna open up certain areas and realize there's so much more work than you could have ever anticipated. So anyways, guys, I wanna say thank you for checking out this video. If you took anything away, it would really mean a lot to me if you just smash that like button, like I'm gonna smash the kit, no, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, guys, have a great day. Thank you so much for checking it out.